Hi, and welcome back to the channel. This is uh, one of my little small videos in the um, 3D printer series of videos. Um, if you're like me, you just bought yourself a little printer. I thought I'd give you some ideas and some bits and pieces you may want. Now, if you want to take it further, you can download STL files and print what you like. Ready-made files on the internet, there's loads about. But if you want to take it one step further and do your 3D printing onto that next level, it's really a good idea to start designing and drawing up your own stuff. I recommend the software I've got on the screen here, Autodesk Fusion. There's a free version available if you're interested. Um, I've, I tried Tinkercad. There's some other ones about it. You may find something else that um, suits you. But what I wanted to show you was some tools that you may find handy that I've used in the past as an engineer and doing a CNC uh, modeling and programming. They also relate, and these tools are really handy in the world of uh, 3D printing. So let's start by the first thing I think I recommend you should get. Get yourself a steel rule or a plastic ruler, 12 inch ruler. Okay, first things off around the mill, up to you. Next on the list, this is only 150 millimeters, this one, cheap as you like. This is, um, it's not a vernier, they used to call them a vernier in the old days. It's not got the vernier scale, this is a caliper, a basic a digital caliper. This one is really, really cheap actually. I got this off Team U and it was so cheap, I didn't realize it was plastic. But you know what, it does the job. You can zero it out millimetres, um, inches, so metric and imperial, zero is out any time place you want. Um, I'm not sure if you're aware, let me just show you. Um, you can measure with this, um, I'll try and show you, uh, I'm do so you can measure, use the jaws here, you can measure the thickness of something like that. You can measure the width of something like that by doing using these back jaws, like so. And just um, zero that out and show you that way. You can measure the jaws like so, like that. You can get, measure gaps and widths of stuff. And then you can also at the back there, you've got a, a piece that sticks out there, which is flat. So normally you zero it out like that, but it's zero anyway, for what we want at this time. And then you can just measure the depths like that. So if you can go, There you go, just like that on the end. Well, that might be easier. There you go, so you can measure the heights and stuff like that. So if you want to sort of make your own bits and pieces to print and draw up your own stuff on the screen, it's handy to have something like this, so you can measure your bits and pieces. Up, this is up to 150, but you can get them 300 or bigger, but they go up in price. You get away with steel rule as well, but these are really, really handy caliper. Another item which I find really, really handy is the I've got two of these actually. I've got one for my um, CNC machine down the shed and my router, which is a, a, this is made by Trend on the Better Makes. I'll put a link below to all this stuff. This is a digital angle finder. It's got a steel rule on there as well, but I find the steel rule not fantastic because you've got the actual digital stuff in the way, but you've got angle finder there. You can zero that out any, switch it on, zero it out any position you want, 90, whatever, 70, 10 degrees or whatever, or you can zero it out zero out of that there flat and then you can set your angles or you can measure angles on bits and pieces for instance uh let's take an example that piece there i won't bother switching it on but you can sort of like you get the idea you can measure an angle um like so obviously it's 90 there if we tuck that on there 90 or can do an angle there Great bit of kit, very, very handy. Lastly, but not least, not 100% necessary, but these are very, very handy. I bought a set of these, and again, I'll put a link below to the set I bought off of um, Amazon. You fill it or radius gauges, so you can measure radiuses there. So if, if you want to measure at all, so I've got a set here, I think they range from, yeah, that's 25 to 50 mil, down to uh, one mil. So you've got little red gauges there. So basically you'd put that as an example. You've got, uh, let's grab one of these. So you've got like a gauge there. You've got your radius on there, your radius on there. So I'll just grab something here. Let's grab this lid. Um, there's no radius on there really, but you could put it inside there. You measure a radius there, so you can either go on the outside of something like so. Obviously, it's miles too big that red, but you can obviously go on the outside of a part like that, 
or you can go on the inside and measure the radius on the inside. Hopefully you'll get one on, get one on about because this is a little bit big for the job. Tell you what, let's get a smaller. Um, let's get a two mil, so not a three mil. We've got here, so it's one point five, two and a half mil. So you grab one of these. Still too big, but you grab one of these and you literally put the red on there like that. And then you know what radius it is. So if something's broken or someone wants you to draw up and model something for them and print it out for something, you know, you just put your red cage on there like that and find out your radius. And this particular set, you've got your external radiuses on one end and your internal on the other end there. Great bit of kit. So that will get you going in the 3D printing scenario. If you want to start drawing up your own stuff, use the link below, please. I'll get a small commission. It'll be an affiliated link to Amazon, which is actually where I bought this stuff from. So it's not as though I didn't buy the stuff from here. I'll get a small commission. Not a lot, but you will pay no more. So please use those links. So I'll just to recap, you've got your, your, cap, or your caliper, digital caliper. Angle finder, digital angle finder, so much easier with this digital stuff nowadays. And I think I've got a set of five radius fillet gauges here. All these little bits and pieces will help you draw up your own stuff in CAD and design your own stuff in 3D. Output the file to your slicer into your printer, and then you'd be printing stuff instead of relying on STL files that you um, find or have to buy on the internet. Thank you for watching, people. There'll be a few more videos coming soon. Please like, subscribe, and uh, later on, at a later date, I might do a few like Autodesk uh, Fusion videos if you're interested. I'm brand new at that sort of stuff myself. I've done a little bit of CAD in the past, but I'm um, just self taught and I've picked it up pretty quick over the last couple of weeks. So um, maybe you and I can learn it together. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe. Thumbs up would be good. Thank you. Bye bye.